What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another awesome pond fishing excursion and this is going to be kind of an urban pond fishing adventure. I've got two ponds that I've planned to come fish after school. I, uh, I drove here and uh, it, it's right after school. It's like, it, it, might, it might be like 4.15 or so. I just got off school, just got over here and the pond is like right back over here. Um, it, it looks pretty decent. I've got a chatterbait tied on right now, just a custom one from Imitator Baits. I made up actually last night. It's a custom skirt that I made up. It's a it's it's a different like bluegill color looking skirt, but it's right over there, right behind uh, a a barbecue place, right behind a fitness uh, like a fitness gym area place thing. And uh, I'm gonna go see if I can catch some fish. So I'm gonna put this camera up and. Uh, Grab my rod out of my car, and we're gonna go try to catch some fish. So, let's cross your fingers and hope. Hopefully, we can catch some uh, urban pond fishing. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is uh, that is gonna have to do it for this pond. I worked the, this pond pretty pretty decent uh, sorry for the wind noise a little bit but uh, I worked it pretty decent with this bait right here and actually no bites surprisingly it looks really good there is a lot of grass here um, and there, even just for this time period there's a pretty decent amount of grass so I'm gonna keep this pond on my radar and I might possibly come back here once the grass is a little grown up and I could throw a frog around throw some top water and I think that'd be super fun and I could fish this pond again. So stay tuned for hopefully some pond fishing bass action on topwater frogs on this pond, but it didn't do me any good today, um, which is completely okay because we've got one more pond that we can hit up and uh, we're gonna jump over that one right now. All right guys, well, we have arrived at spot number two and uh, this is it pretty much just a neighborhood pond there's a fountain out there and uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing I'm gonna I've got a chatterbait with me like I said at the intro I've got chatterbait and then I've also got some uh, uh, what are they uh, Guggen baits some crawls some of the uh, bandito bugs trench hogs and cracking crawls so I might pick up those guys or switch up to like a Texas rigged one of those guys here fairly soon if I'm not getting any bites on the chatterbait or a different color chatterbait and uh, we're just gonna try to hit this pond cover some water see if we can catch some fish and that's our main goal for today all right guys well I'm actually going to put down this chatterbait and I'm actually going to uh, tie on a Guggen bait. I'm not really completely sure which Guggen bait, but I, uh, I'm, I'm not feeling this bait right now. I'm feeling more of a, a Texas rig crawling it on this bottom. I think that could do some damage. So I'm going to kneel down right here, tie on that uh, Texas rigged uh, bait, the Guggen bait. And then we'll see if we can catch some fish. Oh my gosh, guys. We just... No, my gosh. He was sitting right here. I didn't get a good hook set on him at all. It's literally just bringing that thing right along the bank. That was crazy. Oh, we actually got a fish. Holy cow, guys. We got a fish. We have got a fish. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. Not too bad. Oh, there we go, guys. Look at that. Holy cow. He is pale. Wow. Look how, uh, look how white that fish is right there, guys. Absolutely choked the Guggenbaits Bandito Bug. This is in a, uh, June Bug color. And, uh, not too bad. Alrighty guys, caught a decent one right there. Gonna get her back in the water. 
and off she goes. Pretty much all I was doing, casting out right out this way, and uh, I actually thought it was like some grass because there is like a decent amount of grass like here on the edge, and uh, I was also going it like this, so I don't have the best uh, sensitivity going this way. This is not the way I normally set the hook. This is normally the way I normally set it like this, you know, um, but that was pretty cool. Um, took me a little bit to, uh, to recognize that that was a fish, but uh, other than that, it was caught on the Guggenbaits Bandito Bug in uh, June Bug, I believe is the color right here, and uh, pretty, pretty sweet little imitation right there, just a little, uh, little creature bait, so that is the deal. The rod was a uh, 7 foot, 3 inch, medium heavy, 13 fishing origin A casting casting reel excuse me and uh that is the combo right there awesome awesome fish we'll uh we'll see if we can uh get some more Alrighty, guys well uh welcome back into a uh, another outro or intro another vlog segment in the uh in the old in old blue and uh we're gonna we're gonna get her started up and head out of here this is gonna be the end of the video i hope you all enjoyed it a little bit you know this is gonna be the end of today's fishing mission after school i hope to be doing more of these especially this spring um the spring is starting to roll around the bass are starting to move up um i actually had a bite where a fish a bit almost at my feet um and i lost them but just because i didn't get a good hook set in them but th that being said they're starting to kind of move up a little bit um and so hopefully i'll be able to uh, to get some good videos out i'm going to be able to start bringing my rods um or a couple rods or at least one rod in my car i might even keep one rod in my car maybe like a small little tackle box or tackle tray or whatever uh, with some lures in it and if I want to go hit up a, a pond after school I can you know um, as long as I don't have anything to do afterwards so hopefully you guys will be able to see more fishing content um, I'm, I'm pretty much just gonna start saying hey I want to get as much content out to you guys as I can and so if I catch a fish and it, it's a decent fish you know if I if I go out and I catch a fish that's like a 10 incher I'm probably not gonna upload it but like this video I will probably upload um, because it was a decent fish you know, I didn't weigh it or anything, but uh, it was a decent fish. So hopefully you guys are liking these uh, these little miniature kind of vlog-ish type videos. Um, hopefully I'll be able to uh, to do more of them now that it's spring is starting to come into effect. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. If you guys haven't uh, checked out my 1,500 subscriber giveaway, go ahead and do so. And, uh, yeah, I will definitely be hitting up these ponds uh, soon. I will definitely be coming back to them and see if I can uh, do some more damage. So, on that, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace, guys.